welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis at present we study the organometallic reagents so far in this topic we had one lecture where we studied the principles of the reactions of organometallic reagents for the carbon carbon bond formation then we studied the preparation and reactions of grignard reagents in this lecture we will study the organolithium reagents as you can see in this slide if you look at the structure of uh, methyl lithium for example if you see the electronegativity of uh, lithium is 1 here and carbon is 2.5 this sigma bond pair is polarized towards carbon in other words this is nucleophilic nature this carbon and this since this lithium is electropositive nature and this can act as a nucleophile and wherever you have the electrophile it can undergo addition substitution reactions if you remember the beginning of the last lecture we studied the principles of the reactions of organometallic reagents as you know for example in this case now the methyl group can act as a nucleophile it can undergo reaction for example if we have methyl iodide as we have seen earlier it can undergo substitution reaction and on the other hand for example if you take this one formaldehyde and here this carbon is electrophilic in nature since if you see the electronegativity of carbon is 2.5 oxygen is 3.5 therefore this bi bond pair is polarized towards oxygen and this carbon is electrophilic in nature therefore this can undergo addition reaction with this carbonyl compound we will see in detail the preparation of organolithium reagents as well as the reactions for the carbon carbon bond formation as we have seen the case of grignard reagent this also important reagent to carbon carbon bond formation and here as you can see the uh, energy level of this molecular orbital the carbon lithium molecular orbital this is very close to the sp3 hybridized orbital of carbon therefore comparing to that the 2s orbital lithium it means that the contribution of this sp3 hybridized orbital in the bond formation is higher comparing to this 2s orbital that that is the reason this is more the electron density of this carbon is greater therefore it acts as a base or nucleophile when you carry out the reaction this is the sigma star orbital so now let us see the uh, preparation of the organolithium reagents and their application for the carbon carbon bond formation if you look at here uh, you can find there are two methods are shown for the preparation of the organolithium reagents the first one involves the reaction of halo substrates with the lithium metal to give the organolithium reagent where you generate one equivalent of lithium salt as a byproduct for example in this case you have to use two equivalent of lithium one of the lithium is converted into the cyclohexyl lithium reagent the other one is converted into lithium chloride similarly you can also try to react this vinyl chloride with two equivalent of lithium to give this vinyl lithium reagent the lithium chloride as a salt alternatively you can also take this alkyl chloride which has a double bond which can also can undergo reaction with the two equivalent of lithium to give this alkyl lithium as well as lithium chloride salt it means this is an example for the oxidative insertion reaction as if you remember in the case of uh, uh, grignard reagent where you take alkyl halide react with magnesium you generate uh, argon magnesium chloride or uh, argon magnesium halide or grignard reagent similarly here also this alkyl halide undergoes addition reaction with the lithium via oxidative insertion to give this lithium reagent the other method is you can also prepare organolithium reagent via halogen metal exchange you can see here the first example involves the reaction of bromobenzene with the butyl lithium uh, to give this phenyl lithium where you generate this bromobutene as a byproduct so it can react here then you can generate the phenyl lithium as a product the reason is shown here this is because uh, if you look at here this is less acidic in nature therefore and you can form 
this uh, as a product and similarly you can also if you have this example in a reaction of vinyl iodide with tetra butyl lithium you can also convert into vinyl lithium the third example involves a alkyl halide where you have the double bond this also can be reacted with the tetra butyl lithium to give this alkyl lithium as a reagent you can see here they are also commercially available as uh, so you can purchase the organo lithium reagent to carry out the reactions you can also make organo lithium reagents from if you have alkyl halide you can make via oxidative insertion as shown where you have to use two equivalent of lithium alternatively you can also try to react with the butyl lithium or tertiary butyl lithium by halogen metal exchange you can also make organo lithium reagent in addition to that if you have acidic proton that also you can react for example in this case you have the terminal alkyne where you have the acidic proton this you can see pk value of this proton is 26 very acidic you can uh, react with the n-butyl lithium it acts as a base you can uh, deprotonate this proton then you can make this uh, lithium reagent you can carry out the reaction similarly let us look at this one cyclopentadiene so this proton is acidic this also you can deprotonate using phenyl lithium it acts as a base you can deprotonate then you can make this lithium reagent similarly if you have acidic proton you can try to deprotonate you can make the corresponding uh, organo lithium reagents as we have seen the case of grignard reagent these lithium reagents also very sensitive to moisture they are also sensitive to air therefore you have to keep this reagent under inner atmosphere you have to prepare the reagent under argon atmosphere you have to keep the reagent under low temperature if you if you remember the principles of uh, when we studied the principles of the reactions of organometallic reagent for the carbon carbon bond formation we mentioned that if the reactivity of the organo lithium reagent is greater comparing to the corresponding organo magnesium reagent therefore they are very reactive particularly if you have like alkyl lithium they are very reactive you have to store at low temperature otherwise it may undergo self coupling and then you will be able to uh, react and it, uh, it, it can undergo self coupling uh, therefore you have to keep this reagent under lower temperature. Now let us look at one example for the Woods coupling and if you look at this example the reaction of uh, this uh, dihalo compound to cyclic derivative is shown what happens here and first this uh, carboxylic acid is reduced into alcohol that uh, can be done using lithium aluminum hydride and which is further converted into the corresponding alkyl bromide once we have this one this can be reacted just we have seen if you have alkyl halide you can react with uh, two equivalent of lithium you will be able to generate the corresponding lithium reagent alkyl lithium that can undergo intramolecular cyclization to give this cc bond formation so let me write how you, all of you know very well the reduction of carboxylic acid to alcohol if you have carboxylic acid for example you have this carboxylic acid so this can be reduced with lithium aluminum hydride as all of you know very well when you take lithium aluminum hydride first it acts as a base it can deprotonate you will be able to form this intermediate
plus 1 C form this one, this or another aluminum hydride, lithium aluminum hydride can undergo a reaction with this carbonyl group. He will be able to generate this intermediate. Once you form this one, this can be converted into aldehyde. This intermediate, once you form this one, this can be further reacted with aluminum hydride to give the corresponding alcohol as the product. This aldehyde can be converted into primary alcohol. So, this can undergo reaction with BBr3. can undergo reaction and you will be able to form this intermediate this can now undergo SN2 reaction by SN2 pathway, you can give plus this is the product. Therefore, if you have the carboxylic acid, you can try to reduce using lithium aluminum hydride, you can get the primary alcohol as the product. Once you form this one, this you can try to react PBr3 to give the corresponding alkyl bromide. Once if you have the alkyl bromide, already we have seen that you can try to react with the 2 equivalent of uh, lithium and you will be able to generate, if you add 2 equivalent of lithium, you will be able to generate the corresponding lithium reagent, alkyl lithium plus lithium bromide. Once you form lithium bromide, so let me write like this, you have the now lithium, now it can react with another halide by substitution reaction here, this can via SN2 pathway. So, you will be able to form the coupled product. So, this uh, in this way you can try to couple if you have the uh, dihalo compound you can try to couple and you can make the carbon carbon bond formation. In summary, uh, if you have for example, if you have the alkyl halide you can also try to couple. Uh, you can try to convert into lithium reagent which can react with another alkyl halide, you can you can make the carbon carbon bond formation. Similarly, now let us look at the other reactions. The next example involves the reaction of alkyne with the para formaldehyde in the presence of N beta lithium, it gives the primary alcohol. If you remember the case of uh, Grignard reaction, we saw that if you have the terminal alkyne, you can try to react with uh, alkyl magnesium bromide, you can convert into corresponding for example, So, this can undergo addition reaction with the formaldehyde to give the primary alcohol. Similarly, here 
the n-beta lithium acts as a base. So, you can uh, deprotonate this acidic proton, you will be able to form the corresponding alkynyl lithium reagent. Once you form this one, which can readily undergo a reaction with paraformaldehyde, one to addition reaction, you will be able to form So, this when you do the workup, you will be able to generate the propargyl alcohol as the product. The next example involves the reaction of alkyne with the n-beta lithium, uh, where you can generate the, the corresponding lithium reagent that also can undergo addition reaction with the ketone and in this way you can make the tertiary alcohol. The third example involves the ketone, diisopropyl ketone with this isopropyl lithium which can undergo addition reaction to give the tertiary alcohol as the product. And this is very important example and when you do the reaction using Grignard reagent, it does not give the addition product. Instead of that, it gives the, it reduces the carbon, carbonyl group into alcohol, you get the secondary alcohol as the product and this is because of the bulkiness of this isopropyl group. On the other hand, in the case of uh, isopropyl lithium reagent, you can, it can readily undergo addition reaction, you will be able to generate uh, the tertiary alcohol as the product. This slide shows some more examples. The first uh, example involves the reaction of this cyclic ketone with this uh, alkynyl lithium reagent which undergoes addition reaction to give this alcohol as the product. Here you have to use excess of this reagent because you have the OH group. Uh, so, once the reaction is over, when you do the workup, you can regenerate the uh, OH group and this is used as a ovulation inhibiting agent. The next example involves the reaction of uh, this uh, bromide with butyl lithium. When you uh, react and you will be able to generate this uh, lithium reagent. Once you form this one which undergoes addition reaction with this uh, ketone, biral ketone uh, to give this antifungal uh, product. So, this slide shows some more example for the addition reaction with aldehyde. In this case, the vinyl uh, tin reagent undergoes reaction with the n beta lithium through transmetallation to give this vinyl lithium as a product. Once you form this one, which can undergo addition reaction with this aldehyde, one to addition, you will be able to form this secondary alcohol as a product. Once you form this one, this has been converted into this antiviral reagent macrocyclic lactone by several steps. Here, the crucial step is that the addition reaction of the vinyl lithium with the aldehyde to give this alcohol, which has been further converted into this macrocyclic lactone. The another example involves the reaction of terminal alkyne as we have seen earlier. Here you can see here this uh, alkyne has a double bond and acetal uh, functional group. This can be selectively uh, reacted with the n-beta lithium since this proton is acidic, it can be deprotonated. You can try to make the corresponding lithium intermediate. Once you make this uh, intermediate which can now, undergo addition reaction with this aldehyde functional group to give this addition product and this has been uh, further converted into this alkaloid by several steps and as you can see here, and the organolithium reagent plays crucial role in the synthesis of complex molecule and we can use this reagent to undergo addition with the carbonyl compound to give the alcohol that can be further converted into very useful compounds. 
So, this example involves uh, the reaction of phenyl lithium with uh, dimethyl formamide which undergoes addition reaction and when we do the acid workup it can be converted into benzaldehyde. So, this is also a very important reaction if you want to convert aromatic ring to the corresponding aromatic aldehyde if you want to introduce aldehyde functional group in aromatic system. One of the efficient route is you can try to make the corresponding lithium reagent. For example, here we see the use of phenyl lithium which can readily undergo addition reaction with this carbonyl group of uh, this uh, dimethyl formamide. You will be able to generate this intermediate. Once you form this intermediate when you do the workup and you will be able to form uh, this salt which can lose this amine and then you will be able to form the aldehyde as the product. The next example involves the reaction of carboxylic acid with the excess alkyl lithium. If you try to remember the case of uh, Grignard reagent, if we have carbon dioxide and this which can undergo addition to give the carboxylic acid. In this case, the carboxylic acid can be readily reacted with the excess lithium to give ketone as a product. This is because as we have seen uh, the earlier lecture, the organolithium reagents more reactive comparing to Grignard reagent therefore, it can undergo further reaction to give ketone as a product. Let us see the mechanism of this reaction. So, since this compound has OH group and you have to use uh, uh, two equivalent of lithium alkyl lithium reagent. So, once you use two equivalent of ethyl lithium and you will generate two equivalent of ethane and you will be able to generate this salt. Once it forms the salt which can undergo further reaction this carbonyl group can undergo further reaction with another equivalent of ethyl lithium via 1 to addition as shown here and you will be able to form this salt. Once you form this one when you do the workup and you will be able to form this intermediate which can lose a water molecule and you will be able to generate the ketone as a product. So, now let us look at the effect of uh, chelating group in the formation of organolithium. lithium. For example, if you have any chelating group in the aromatic ring for in this case you have the methoxy group. When you react this uh, anisole with the n-beta lithium and you can try to selectively deprotonate the ortho CH bond in this way you can do the ortho lithiation. This because how it happens here the lone pair of oxygen makes chelation with this lithium and you will form this intermediate. Once you form this one this can act as a base you can deprotonate this proton and which can react with the lithium you will be able to generate this. So, this lithium reagent in this way uh, you can try to make the ortho lithium reagent and the next example involves here you have the uh, dimethylamine which can act as a chelating group which can uh, chelate with this lithium as just we have seen. So, which can deprotonate in this way you can also try to make the ortho lithiation once you form this one as we have seen uh, earlier you can try to uh, react with uh, aldehyde. In this case you can try to react with uh, benzaldehyde you can try to make alcohol as the product. So, here the reaction of this aromatic system with uh, tetrabutyl lithium shown which as we have seen earlier which can now make chelation with this uh, oxygen. So, you can deprotonate this proton acidic proton then you can introduce the lithium at the ortho position. So, once you form the ortho lithium which can undergo addition reaction with uh, carbon dioxide as we have seen the case of the reaction of Grignard reagent with carbon dioxide to give the addition product. In this way you can introduce carboxylic acid in the aromatic ring and similarly in this case you have the two methoxy group and which can now chelate with your lithium which can deprotonate this proton and in this way you can introduce lithium here. Once you have this one which can undergo addition reaction with the carbon dioxide and you can make the carboxylic acid which has been converted into methicillin as is shown here which we use antibiotic compound. If you remember the previous reaction where we have seen the reaction of 
carboxylic acid with alkyl lithium. Therefore, this can undergo further reaction to give this intermediate, but in this case so the aryl lithium undergoes addition reaction to give the salt which does not undergo further reaction with this uh, aryl lithium this because this is less reactive comparing to alkyl lithium. Therefore, this salt remain is there when you do the work up you will be able to generate the carboxylic acid with the product. Now, let us look at the reaction with the epoxide. In this case, the reaction of this bromo benzene derivative with the n-beta lithium the epoxide is shown. In this case, the n-beta lithium can react with this uh, bromo benzene derivative to give this lithium reagent which undergoes reaction the less sterically hindered carbon to give the substitution product. Once if you have the alcohol which can be further reacted with the n-beta lithium since you have this mom chelating group which can chelate and activate which can chelate with this n-beta lithium can deprotonate this proton in this way you will be able to form You have to use uh, excess of uh, n-beta lithium in this reaction. You will be able to form this lithium salt. Once you form this lithium salt, which can now undergo addition reaction with your carbon dioxide. to give This lithium salt, this can when you react with acetic anhydride, you will be able to form Once you form the plus lithium acetate, this can undergo intramolecular cyclization to give this lactone.
to give this lactone as a product, once we form this one, this can be further converted into the target compound by reacting with uh, acid chloride. When you take the acid chloride, it can cleave the mom ether to alcohol and when you use this tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride, it can react with this triisopropyl silyl group. In this way, you can uh, deproduct this uh, silyl ether as well as the mom ether using HCl and uh, tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride will be able to generate this compound. As you can see here, and this is uh, first what happens and since this mom ether has oxygen, it make chelation with this lithium, then this N butyl group acts as a base, deprotonate this proton, the ortholithiation then takes place. Once you form this one which acts as a nucleophile, it undergoes a nucleophilic opening of this epoxide ring as less sterically hindered carbon to give the alcohol as the product. Once you form this one, now this oxygen make chelation uh, with uh, this n butyl lithium as we have seen there, it can uh, chelate and then ortholithiation takes place where you generate butane as a byproduct. So, it acts as a base, you can deprotonate, you make the ortholithiation. Once you make the ortholithiation, then also you have to use here excess of lithium 2 equivalent of lithium reagent because you have the OH group and in this way you will be able to generate this salt. Once you form this one, which can now undergo addition reaction with the carbon dioxide as shown here, then you will form this salt. This when you react with acidic anhydride, you will be able to form this uh, unhydrated intermediate which can now undergo intramolecular cyclization uh, to give this lactone as a product where you generate 2 equivalent of lithium acetate as a byproduct. Once you form this one, then deprotonation production of this mom and uh, silyl group using HCl and uh, tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride, you can try to get this bicyclic lactone as a product. Now, let us look at the ortholithiation and the application for the construction of this uh, polycyclic compound as the product. In this case, as just we have seen there, the mom ether now can make chelation, the oxygen make chelation with this secondary butyl lithium. As we have seen just now, it can make chelation with your lithium. Once you form this one, now it can act as a base, it can deprotonate this one, then you introduce the lithium here, you take ortholithiation takes place. Once you form this one, now, which can undergo addition reaction, you will be able to form this amide. Once you form this one, now this oxygen, this uh, carbonyl group oxygen can activate with this tertiary butyl lithium. In this way, you can try to introduce uh, lithiation in this carbon. You can make this reagent. Once you form this one, this can be further reacted with the alkyl iodide. You will be able to introduce methyl group. Once you form this one, this is a benzylic proton, this can be deprotonated using base and you can introduce here. In this way, you can make this alkyl lithium. Once you form this one, this can be further converted into this acetal. This has been further transformed into the polycyclic compound. As you can see in the synthesis of this antibiotic compound, you can see uh, three uh, steps involved the ortholithiation, which has been used selectively to transform the readily available simple uh, the bicyclic compound into polycyclic compound as the product. Here an example shown for the stereoselective addition reaction of methyl lithium and in this aldehyde the alba carbon has a chiral center and when you react with methyl lithium and as is shown here you can try to understand uh, through this confirmation as you can see here, the methyl lithium undergoes addition reaction with this carbonyl group through this less sterically hindered side and you can end up with uh, this compound as a major product. You can see here the diastereomeric ratio of this is almost 9 is 1. So, if you have the, the alba chiral and you have the two phase of the carbonyl group, you can try to selectively react with alkyl lithium and the addition reaction can take place. You can end up with uh, good uh, diastereomeric selectivity. In addition to that, so organo lithium reagents also widely find applications to transmetallation and their application for the carbon-carbon bond formation. In this example, as you can see here, if, uh, if when you react 
with uh, this alkyl lithium, if you react the alkyl lithium with this uh, compound, and instead of addition reaction with this carbonyl group, it acts as a base, deprotonate, and they give this uh, salt as the product. Therefore, when you react this alkyl lithium with the cerium chloride, you generate this uh, reagent. The nucleophilicity of the reagent enhanced. Now, it undergoes instead of base, it acts as a nucleophile, it undergoes one to addition reaction uh, to give this uh, intermediate, which when we do the workup can be converted into alcohol as the product, which has been used to construct this uh, medicinal important compound. Therefore, so organolithium reagent can be converted into more useful compound through transmetallation that can lead to very interesting carbon carbon bond formation. This is an example. And if you take a simple alkyl lithium, it acts as a base. On the other hand, if you convert to this uh, cerium reagent through transmetallation, which can act as a nucleophile, which can undergo addition uh, with the carbonyl group, you can get this alcohol intermediate, which can be further converted into medicinal important compound as a product. The next example involves the reaction of uh, phenyl lithium. This uh, naphthyl chloride and this can be coupled using palladium catalyst to give this aryl system. Similarly, you can also try to couple if you have the alkyl halide, you can also try to convert into the corresponding alkyl lithium reagent, which can be further reacted the aryl halide. In this way, you can also you can introduce alkyl chain via CC coupling reaction. Now, let us look at the mechanism of this reaction. This uh, the metal undergoes oxidative addition with this or alkyl halide. For example, if you take aryl chloride, oxidative addition to Once you form this one, which can now undergo reaction with your for example, aryl lithium through transmetallation, you form this intermediate which can undergo isomerization so that can give the product by reductive elimination first uh, oxidative addition takes place with this uh, halo substrate, you form this intermediate. Once you form this one, which can undergo transmetallation with this alkyl or aryl lithium, and you will be able to form this intermediate. Once you form this one, which can undergo isomerization, that can give the product by reductive elimination. In this way, you will be able to complete the catalyst cycle. And in using this approach, you can also try to couple two different aryl substrates. And you can, for example, in this case, the naphthyl chloride has been coupled with this uh, phenyl lithium to give this biaryl system using uh, this palladium catalyst in the presence of phosphyl ligand. This reaction has been uh, recently explored considerably, but uh, the use of iron catalyst, there is only one report is available. If you remember the Kumda coupling where the reaction of alkyl aryl halide with uh, alkyl aryl magnesium halide has been demonstrated using palladium nickel based catalyst system. 
uh, where also if you remember first uh, the metal undergoes oxidative addition with the alkyl or aryl halide which then reacts with the green water reagent through transmetallation which gives a uh, intermediate that undergoes isomerization to give the intermediate that leads to reductive elimination to give the CC coupled product uh, similar way here. Uh, the metal undergoes oxidative addition with this alkyl or aryl halide, uh, then it undergoes transmetallation with this alkyl aryl lithium, then you have the intermediate, that intermediate undergoes isomerization followed by reductive elimination to give the CC coupled product to complete the catalyst cycle. Uh, so, in addition to that, so organolithium also find wide applications to uh, make soft nucleophile, for example, Gilman reagent we will study this uh, next lecture. For example, if you have methyl lithium, you can try to react with the copper iodide, you will be able to form so argon copper which can be further reacted with another equivalent of methyl lithium. So, this is called Gilman reagent or lower order cuprate. Uh, if you see the, if you compare the nucleophilicity of uh, this methyl group and this uh, methyl group, this is less nucleophilic in nature. Therefore, when you have the substrate like this, So, when you take this methyl lithium selectively it undergoes addition reaction, we have seen so many example or the reaction with aldehyde and ketone. And if you take this vinyl ketone and when you take the methyl lithium which can undergo 1 to addition selectively, you will be able to form this alcohol as the product. On the other hand, when you use this cuprate reagent which can undergo a 1 4 addition instead of reaction with this carbonyl group and you will be able to form this ketone as a product. So, it also has wide applications we will study in the next lecture. In summary, uh, we have seen in this lecture the preparation and the reactions of uh, lithium reagents. The preparation of the lithium reagents we have seen three approaches. Uh, in the first approach we have seen the reaction of halo substrates with the two equivalent of metals lithium metals. In this reaction you generate one equivalent of uh, lithium halide as a byproduct. The second approach we have seen uh, the reactions of halo substrates with uh, alkyl lithium where the halogen metal exchange takes place, you will be able to generate organolithium reagents where you generate alkyl halide as a byproduct. The third approach we have seen, if you have acidic proton in your substrate, you can try to react those substrates with the alkyl lithium, where alkyl lithium acts as a base, you can deprotonate the acidic proton, you will be able to generate organolithium reagents. For example, if you take terminal alkyne, or cyclopentadienyl. So, the acidic proton can be easily deprotonated using N beta lithium, where you will be able to generate uh, the corresponding lithium reagents. Then, we have seen the reactions of organolithium reagents. First, we have seen the reactions to aldehydes, ketones, they undergo 1 to addition reaction, you will be able to get the corresponding alcohol as the product. If you have phenyl lithium, you can try to react with the dimethyl formamide, you will be able to form aldehyde this is one of the effective route. If you want to make, if you have the aryl halide, you can convert into corresponding uh, lithium reagent, then you can try to react with the dimethyl formamide, you will be able to get the corresponding aldehyde as the product. Then we have seen the reactions of epoxides as well as alkyl halide, you can try to uh, couple, for example, Woods coupling you can carry out, you can uh, make CC pond formation. Then also we have seen the application of this organolithium reagents for the uh, reactions of a variety of 
aldehydes which are highly functionalized those aldehydes can be further converted into complex uh, molecules. Then also we have seen the reaction of diisopropyl ketone with isopropyl lithium where when you use uh, organomagnesium reagents they do not work and however organolithium reagents isopropyl lithium can readily undergo addition with the diisopropyl ketone to give the corresponding tertiary alcohol as a product. Then we have seen the addition to uh, carbon dioxide as uh, we have seen if you have aryl lithium as we have seen in the case of uh, Grignard reagent you can try to add to carbon dioxide you will be able to get the corresponding carboxylic acid as a product. On the other hand if you have alkyl lithium so this now whatever the addition product which when can undergo further reaction with this alkyl lithium you will be able to get ketone as the product. So, then we have seen ortholithium preparation. Suppose, if your system is phenyl which has a chelating group like methoxy or uh, dimethyl amino group that can suppose if you react those uh, substrates with alkyl lithium, you can make chelation and you can selectively uh, react the ortho CH bond you will be able to form ortho uh, lithium reagent that can be carried out as reaction with variety of alkyl halides and aldehydes as we have seen with the simple aryl lithium reagents and this we have seen the application of this method for the construction of a complex uh, molecule. Then we have seen the transmetallation approach. Uh, one example we have seen where when you have the CH between the carbonium group aryl system that CH bond is acidic enough when you react with the N-beta lithium acid as a base and deprotonate this uh, uh, CH proton. On the other hand, if you react with the cerium 3 chloride, you can make the corresponding organometallic reagents that readily can undergo one to addition reaction uh, instead of acting as a base. So, then at the end we have seen one example where uh, if you have the organolithium reagent for example, phenylithium and you can try to coupled with uh, aryl halide and the presence of palladium catalyst and phosphine ligand. Uh, so, we have seen one example. Similarly, this reaction we look at the mechanism and it uh, undergoes oxidative addition followed by transmetallation, then isomerization, then reductive elimination to give the product to complete the catalyst cycle. There is also one example using iron based catalyst for the coupling of argon lithium reagents with uh, alkyl halide. Uh, through transmetallation. Uh, with this, we conclude this lecture. Thank you very much.